Good morning. It is Monday the 18th of March 2024. My reflection today has been inspired by a recent TV programme and by a challenge a Christian friend will attempt in June. The TV programme was Snow Going Back, Comic Relief versus the Arctic. And it described how four female celebrities tackled a four-day trek in the Arctic. They must have put some training in beforehand because they had to walk, cycle, drag sleds and do Nordic skiing to cover the ground and they camped or they stayed in snow huts. Their achievement was very impressive and will no doubt raise lots of money. For this year's Comet Relief. My friend Jackie has committed to trekking up Mount Kilimanjaro to raise money for the International Justice Mission, who work to make the world a safer and more just place and to combat different forms of slavery. Now, to do this particular challenge, you have to raise quite a lot of money beforehand and train so that you'll be fit enough to complete the trek. The other day, Jackie put her itinerary up on Facebook and it showed how tough the going could be, especially on the last day, which starts at midnight. It's not just distance that could be challenging, but the altitude. Some people are not able to complete the trek because they're affected by a lack of oxygen at that altitude. Jackie's been doing a lot of walking to prepare herself. She lives somewhere quite flat, so to get ready for the ascent, she's been going over lots of bridges. I'm full of admiration for Jackie, even though I have to say my first reaction was she must be crazy to attempt this. Success for the women in the Arctic depended on their on the training they did before the trek and their perseverance during it. Success for my friend Jackie depends on the preparation she puts in beforehand and her perseverance during the trek to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro. Now I've never attempted anything like this. The longest challenges I've ever completed were a couple of Christian aid walks and a walk to support my local chapel when I was in youth club. And I have to say, I didn't really do any real preparation for any of them. So the nearest I've ever got to putting in a lot of preparation before anything was when I used to revise for my exams. I would spend hours before the actual exams reading, rereading and memorising my notes. I'm glad to say that all the effort paid off and I passed my exams. Preparation, continual effort and perseverance are all needed if we're to succeed in what we are doing. So when it comes to following Jesus, we need to keep ourselves fit in the faith so that we know how to handle things that we will experience during our lives. If we make our commitment and then do not follow it up in any way or are half-hearted about what being a Christian means, then we may well fail, we may well fall at the first hurdle and perhaps stop following Jesus. We need to train and keep on training, but it's a different kind of training. Reading the Bible, regular worship and prayer, belonging to a worshipping community and perhaps a small fellowship group will all help us to learn all we can about Jesus, about his life, death and resurrection and about what it means to be part of his kingdom. It will also help us to build a strong relationship with God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. It will enable us to flourish in our faith and enable us to lead others to know Jesus and thus to know God. So let us pray. Loving God, lead us to full fitness as Christians, so that we will serve you and your world. Bless all those who take on phys physical challenges for those in need. Amen. <laughs>